Ben, if you could just start by t just telling us a couple of the events that you've got coming up this summer. Um, well, I've got the World Youth um, Championships, which is in Italy, and that's um, for under 18, so that's, I'm the perfect age for that, really, so hoping to go out there and sort of win, really. If not, then medal would be would be the least I should come back with. I should definitely go out and win, to be honest with you. And then um, I've got the European Juniors, which is in Serbia. Um, so that's that's a, that's another aim. That's under 20s. And um, st even though it's European, it's still a higher standard because of the fact of the older age. So top five there would be nice. But personally, I want to go out there and try and sort of get, get a medal. So it should be good. Yeah, you, the, you know, the, Commonwealth, the junior Commonwealth's missing out by just a centimetre. Has that yeah. spurred you on to try and do even more because you were so close to getting that gold medal? Yeah, it has really. I mean, travelling however far, 3,000 miles across the world to lose by one centimetre is a bit It's a bit annoying, to be honest with you. But, I mean, I just thought of it as, as that, like, they were a lot older than me. They were 19, I was 16. So I thought one centimetre in three years' time, I should be. I should be hoping to jump at least a metre further than what he jumped to beat me. So um, I've no worries really losing. Then I mean, it was my first major competition away from England, so I, I just enjoyed the experience. Um, enjoyed going out to compete in a different country and sort of getting used to the climate and things like that. So it was it was a good starter really. Yeah, what was it like kind of being being away from Stoke all all the way over in India and was, and having to kind of adapt to that? It was crazy really. I mean. It was um, the climate was ridiculous. I was competing in 39 degrees, things like it was uh, the direct sunlight. There was no shade to go in, so it wasn't the best of. Con it, it was good conditions because of the heat, and I liked jumping in the heat, but not the best of conditions be because it was just it was just so hot. I mean, the the um, the run up was so fast as well, so that altered my altered my run up. So. Um, I was a lot faster, so my run up had to be taken further back and things like that. So there's a lot of there's a lot of things to learn when you um, when you go into competitions like that. And, and I think I've got good experience for the future now. And it seems like you've got a good coach here, and who's helping you learn as well. Yeah, yeah, Johnny. I couldn't ask for a better. I couldn't ask for a better coach, really. I mean, he's he's always been. He's always been there with me if I needed help in anything really, whether it be from college work. Cause as he's my college lecturer as well for PA, so whether it be from college work to home life or to training, he's he's always there to help me and make sure nothing interferes with training. And it seems like you've got a, a pretty competitive group of lads here. Is that, mm. Does that help help out and help you improve and help to kind of keep <laughs> chasing your personal best? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm um, apart from one, which is Rio, and the youngest in the group. And well, Rio's here. Um, He's a big lad, to be fair to him. So um, we don't really recognise him as the the baby of the group. And um, but yeah, it's good. So I mean, you need to you need to sort of have a group like this to push you, so you can so you can be a better athlete. I mean, when we, when we do runs, we're doing racing. Um, as you've probably seen tonight, me and me and Dave have competitions when we're doing the box work stuff and things like that. So it's just good because we push each other really, and it makes it, it makes everybody a better athlete. Is it? Good also looking at kind of the history of UK athletics, two of the greatest athletes of all time, really Jonathan Edwards and Philip Zado, both triple jumpers. It's, uh, must be good for you to, to look and aspire to be those kind of guys. Well, yeah, we've had um, we've had a few good triple jumpers from Jonathan Edwards, Philip Zado, Nathan Douglas, John Jonathan, uh, John Herbert. So we've had we've had a um, we've had a good few seventy mid seventeen jumpers really. So we've got we've got a really good standard in Britain, and it just. It, it, it makes me aspire to sort of be as good as them. If, well, to be honest, better, I want to be better than than all of them, really. To be honest, but um, yeah, it's 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 a good mindset to be in, knowing that we've got athletes of that sort of calibre in Britain. So it, it makes you think that yeah, you can do it. Have you ever met either of them? Um, I've met Philip Zdeu. Um, has he ever has he given you any advice? Yeah, um, not to not to progress so fast because he wants to <laughs> he wants to win a few titles before I come along. <laughs> And what about the one thing I suppose that everyone's looking at all the athletes is, is 2012. You must be dying to be there. Mm, well, of course, everybody's dying to be there. Every athlete's dying to be there. But um, I'm, uh, I'm afraid I'll probably be a bit too young for that. So, um, 2016. So it's gonna. It would have been great to sort of compete in my in my home country and things like that. But to be honest, I won't be too disheartened if I don't make it because of the fact that. I know I've got many, many years ahead of me, even if I don't win Olympic gold or get to the Olympics in my own country. I know I've got Olympic gold in the future anyway, so it's OK. Yeah, so is, is that your your ultimate aspiration well, the future for the career of, of you to be an of, Olympic champion? Of, of course, I think, I think it is with every athlete again, but... Um, to be honest, I think I think I've got some. It's written in the stars, and it's there. I need to do it, and 
world record would be in the phone, so that would just be the cherry on the cake, to be honest.